All right, so this is the in-house radio. So I'll show you in a second. So what we do is we run that coax feeder up here and it's going all the way up to the loop. Now I have this ladder line here, kind of acts as a matching stub. But anyway, the loop going over here. It's actually hanging. Pretty low over here. Like I can almost reach up and grab it. And then everywhere else. It's uh, probably about 20, 25 feet. Over here you can see the off-center fed dipole that I don't use. But anyway, it just barely goes over the roof of the house, but it gets out like crazy. So anyway, we go over here and switch the feed line and go over to the shack. So what I do is I have this here and that just goes inside the house. So when I want to operate in the house, then when I want to operate out here to switch over to those, it also makes it great for lightning season. Now I'm using this as a uh, phasing line to match things up. I have no idea why everything's out of phase, but if it works, it works. So let's get this on here. And then, of course, I'm upside down. My God, how could I do that? So, um, I have an antenna switch in here where I can switch to it, and then this uh, feeds down into the Heathkit tuner, which is in bypass mode normally. And uh, most of my radios have their own power supply, but if I um, need to use it, I've got that. And then here's the... Um, Legal lemon amplifier and a matching Tentec radio next to it. So they've got these ones out here. They're all ready to go. I just have to jump the coax to a different jumper. And then um, I usually use this one. Well, the most common one I use is usually the ICOM 756 Pro. And that radio, it just sounds really good. And... Also, when I need to run the amplifier, it drives it really well. It seems to put out a little bit more than 100 watts, like more like about 125. Um, I haven't turned it up or anything like that. I've, and I've checked it to make sure that everything's okay. So it just seems like it puts out a lot more power, more average power on sideband. It's normal for them to um, put out about 125 watts. Uh, CW key down on these ICOMs, but um, a, a lot of other radios won't put out as much power on sideband as this one does. So, let's see what we got over here. It's uh, six o'clock something, six thirty two. Probably not much going on in here. Hopefully we'll have some apricots. 
I mean, hoping that uh, Freeze only got to uh, thinning them and uh, didn't get the whole bunch. We'll see. But uh, anyway, the weather stays mild. Uh, maybe there's going to be fruit this year here and up in the valley and around where you are. So we'll see what happens. But uh, anyway, Rick, that's about it from here this evening. Uh, I don't know if I'll be here for round two or not. I'm going to pop back into the other room for a little bit and and uh, I'll listen in. But uh, uh, in case I don't uh, catch up with you later here, enjoy the evening and, uh, and the rest of the uh, the weekend coming up here. So. Thanks for picking me up this evening, and everybody else have a good evening, too. Uh, KB0AHR from NQ08. All right. Sounds good, Mark. Yeah, we... Uh, we... This guy is, uh, name is Courtney, I think. About 15 meters, and I'm operating about 500 watts at the moment. And the microphone is an ICOM Sugar Mike 8. Go ahead. 